name is Lisa Levine, and um, I came here because my husband was here, and, and that's uh, why I left New York and moved here. And I'm Peter Tonningson, and I'm a native, born and raised uh, in Alameda, and moved around a lot, but uh, I've been here making art for nearly 20 years. We do a lot of regional specific work and are constantly on the lookout for anything that's um, related to the Bay Area. Um, I mean, we both have long histories here and are interested in, in producing more and more work that sort of defines that um, from a different perspective. So this seemed like the perfect project for that. Uh, we love the idea of the exposure of being on the buses as well. Again, what Lisa was saying earlier about an opportunity to put work out there in places that you know people aren't necessarily expecting to see it and encounter it. And so that was really appealing to us. What you see, everything is uh, photo photography based. Uh, it's in kind of an amalgamation between both uh, analog and digital photography. We go to an area and both walk around together, and photograph on film. We rewind that film, uh, exchange it, and then photograph over the top of what the other person has just photographed. And we repeat that process multiple times to create a kind of layering um, base of photographs. And then we scan that film and then digitally rework it, sometimes manipulating color, other times not, just sort of responding to what's on the film. Uh, and the main reason we do that is we're interested in how the chance of that comes together. We don't know what layers over the top of what the other person has done. So um, that serendipity is what really appeals to us about starting with that sort of analog process. And then um, the advantage of switching to digital is that, that we then have control over that process that we can really manipulate it, add color to it, and even create output onto a variety of different materials. Um, that are more suitable for public art installations. I think it's a little bit different in the sense that it's um, it, um, rotating and kind of temporary, which is nice because it creates a lot of lot of different opportunities. There's a lot going on in the public transportation sector just through the Percent for Art program, but I think what's as I said, what's nice about this is that it's kind of an, a rolling, it seems to be kind of a rolling program and something that creates opportunity time and again. I think there's two other things that, that is unusual perhaps to the way that you run this program that appealed to us. Um, a lot of times these kind of things have a lot of direction and uh, we really responded well to the fact that you know you were allowed to sort of go the direction that we wanted to go in these pieces uh, and so that freedom is really appreciated we like that and just also the idea of trying to you know of having an uh, process where you're trying to bring the community involved into it and the voting and getting it out there and letting the public be part of the process uh, I think is a wonderful thing too. I mean that um, again creates more access to the arts and I think that that's an important aspect of this. I mean you're... Yeah, and public investment in it. Right. Yeah in the community and uh, we like that idea of being able to s sort of somehow be involved with the community whether it's in the making of the work or the presentation of the work or in explaining the work. Um, I think that that's a in, a in a sense a more democratic way of, of art making and an exhibition than you know, stuffing it away in a museum or a gallery something like that so. Yeah the San Francisco um, beautiful project again the the beauty of the city the, the character of the city I think it you know making work that reflects that gives people a sense of pride and ownership um, in their communities as well that someone else has come in and recognized that um, documented that made been inspired by that made art uh, because of that is uh, a way for people to feel a kind of sense of pride